Hi guys, it's me, Alice. Um, this is week seven of our vlog project for Professor Flitwick. And this week we have an actual psychology-based prompt, even though the other ones were technically still teaching us about psychology and stuff. It was just harder to tell. Um, so this is really exciting. It might be more exciting if we didn't have to talk about such personal things, um, just because it's still a little bit awkward to do that. But, um, it's, it's a good experience to have. So, this week we were supposed to come up with two lists. Um, a list of 20 things that we like about ourselves and 20 things that we dislike about ourselves. And then share five of each in this video. So, I have my lists right here. That's the pros and that's the cons. Um, there's a couple more than 20 in each. I just wrote some. Um, but I'm only going to talk about five of each today. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to talk about my dislikes first because that way we can get anything kind of depressing out of the way and focus on better things after. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, one thing that I don't like about myself is that I'm kind of a doormat sometimes. Um, I really need to work on standing up for myself more and um, not letting people take advantage of me and um, to learn how to deal better with confrontation because my fear of confrontation is kind of why I so often just kind of let things go and don't say anything even when something bothers me. Um, I don't like making people upset and I don't like having people upset with me and I don't like when people are screaming at me or near me um whenever possible to avoid that so yeah um something to work on um another thing that I dislike is that I'm very much perfectionist um and I mean that can be good sometimes but I, I expect too much of myself and of others sometimes. Um, I have unrealistic standards of what I should and shouldn't be able to achieve. And um, sometimes it's hard for me to realize that I'm just human and I'm still going to make mistakes and that that's okay. And it, it still bothers me a lot and it makes things stressful. Um, but so that's something that I'm not too fond of. Um, another thing is that I'm really clumsy. I knock things over and spill things all the time, and it's just kind of a disaster. Yeah, I mean, a couple years of ballet as a kid didn't really fix that, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, um, and then I guess another one would be, um, having trust issues. Um, like, things haven't always been easy as far as relationships and stuff, and I mean, it's some, because of that in the pa past, um, sometimes it's hard for me to trust people to, to trust that they genuinely like me, or that they're going to continue to like me, and that it's not just them being nice, or just... It's hard to trust people sometimes, and it takes a while for me to be able to truly trust someone. And then after I do, they've pretty much got my trust for life unless they majorly mess it up. So um, I'm trying to learn how to be more open and be okay with be letting myself be vulnerable, but um, that's the thing. Um, my biggest dislike is my anxiety, though. I um, have an anxiety disorder, and it causes me to be really anxious obviously um and especially socially anxious which is a shame because I mean I really love people but interacting with them makes me really nervous and I get really self-conscious and I worry about if I'm saying or doing the right thing and I always feel like I'm not I always feel like I'm messing up and and it makes me scared to take risks and I end up being scared to um I, I'm scared to have things change and that's kind of a shame because a huge part of me is really adventurous and I really like to 
if it weren't for my anxiety, I think I would be a lot more outgoing than I am now. Um, and I'm working on it. Like, I talk to people, even though it's hard sometimes. Um, but that's probably my biggest dislike and the thing that... I don't know if I... I don't want to say that I would change it, because without that, I don't... I know I wouldn't be who I am now. And I like who I am now. But it might have been easier or might still be easier if I didn't have to deal with that. Um, but anyway, on to the five things I like most about myself. Um, one of the things that I like most is that I stand up for what I believe in and for the people that I love. And I mean, I'm going to protect them and stand up for my values and beliefs even when it's hard and even when I'm rendered socially anxious or scared of confrontation. I, I will... Stand up for my ideas and my principles and my beliefs and my family and friends. It's a lot easier for me than standing up for myself. Um, also is the fact that um, kids and animals tend to like me. Um, which is kind of fantastic because I figure animals have pretty great judgment. Especially dogs I and mean, cats too. But if a dog likes you, you're probably a good person. And I just love kids. So I really like that. Um, kids usually feel comfortable around me and it's really easy for us to connect because I just love them. Um, another thing is that I pride myself on at least trying to be a good friend. I try to be a good listener and to really think of others and, um, to be there for them and to be loyal. And I think that I am a good friend or at least my friends don't complain <laughs> too often. So... Yeah, that's something I think I'm good at, is being there for others and caring for others and being compassionate. And I really like that about myself. Um, something I think I like the most is that I'm resilient. Um, life as a kid wasn't easy. I mean, I got bullied a lot and my parents weren't around. And I mean, I was blessed in so many ways, but it was hard and I had really really low self-confidence and low self-worth for a long time because of it but I managed to find ways to focus on what I liked about myself and to realize that there are good parts of me and that I am a good person overall and that I have a lot to offer the world and the fact that I was able to do that is just kind of incredible I mean I think it's incredible that I was able to realize that I'm not necessarily what I had come to think I was and that I am valuable and I am important and I am beautiful and I don't want that to sound vain or like I'm full of myself because I don't think I'm better than anyone else I've just gotten to the point where I feel like I am as good as other people and that I deserve what other people deserve and so that's something that I really like about myself is that I've gotten to that point and my last thing on my list is that I am constantly trying to improve myself. I realize that I have flaws and I realize that I'm not perfect and I try to fix them. And I think that's a really important trait to have. Um, because nobody's perfect, but um, you can always work to better yourself. So that's my video for this week and I'll talk to you guys all next week. Bye!